What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. You know, I've got a Nor'easter on the way, and you try to plan out content, and EA makes that very difficult as a creator because every day, and I mean this, every day they find a way to create a talking point. And most of the time, it's negative. So if you're not aware, they came out today with some house rules. Due to an issue in the game, Weekend League on all platforms are now going to have the following settings. Kickoffs are disabled. By default, you're going to start at your 25-yard line. And if you make it into overtime, there's going to be college rules. Now, I bring this up because not that EA can't go in and make these changes. Not that EA doesn't have the ability to put in house rules. But it's interesting to me, just a handful of days ago, you can see they're sitting here and selling you a Devin Hester card. How do we get from selling a Devin Hester card, which, let's be fair, your Devin Hesters, your Josh Cribs, most of the time, people are going to purchase those cards with the intent of using them as what they were known for in real life. You'll want to use Devin Hester as a kick returner. You'll want to use Mike Allstott as a fullback. Even though fullbacks aren't as prevalent in the game, that's the allure of getting these cards. So it's interesting when you look at how the community reacts to this. There's some people that are accepting of whatever EA does. And I think EA abuses that acceptance with the community. And I think it's ironically shown very much here where someone comes and says, listen, you're simulation football, right? You've got the NFL agreement, correct? And we can't have kickoffs and proper overtimes in your game? To which somebody responds, well, it's because of a glitch. And that's the two stances people in this community have. You're either someone that accepts that, you know, there's glitches in games and they can be fixed, but those things happen. Or you're someone that is tired of giving EA the benefit of the doubt in fixing this game and is tired of waiting for them to fix things. And I think Angel perfectly sums that up. You know, if there's a glitch, then fix it. Right? No one really cares that much about your issues. Right? I'm a customer. We get your product. I don't care about everything that goes into it. I just expect the product to work. If there's a problem, you need to fix it. So when you come out and you've got a tournament for a whole week that doesn't even have NFL rules, and you're the only NFL game, like how far can you really fall? Like I can sit here on my channel every day and tell you negative things or perceive things negatively about this company, but nothing is ever going to get to the point where you have an NFL licensed game. You have the NFL exclusive agreement. And now because your game is so broken, you can't even get it to follow the NFL rules. Nothing I am going to say, nothing I'm going to project, nothing that I'm going to show you on a screen, no amount of broken gameplay is ever going to speak louder than how EA speaks to the community when they can't even deliver you the product they sell year after year after year. I don't know how anyone at this point can be accepting of where this game is. But if you are, you're the reason why it's gotten here and will continue to be an awful product. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. And you know I will be back in the week with more commentary.